Ha! Ah, welcome to part two of my top 25 collection vinyl from the last 65 years or so. And first off, uh, we have number 15, Rory McLeod. I don't know if it, you guys have heard of him. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, first album uh, bought when he was over here in Australia. And uh, great talent, very unusual, very unique. Uh, got about 10 uh, albums out now. Um, I brought him over actually for, for a concert here uh, in Adelaide, uh, which went down well. Uh, yeah, it's got some uh, great tracks on it. Farewell, Welfare, Pauline's Song, Angry Love, Passing the pain down, etc. Um, what year? I don't know. I can't remember. 1990, perhaps? Yeah, probably about 1990, 95. Um, maybe to even 2000. So there we go. Rory McLeod. Angry Love. Great music. I wish I could play you some, but uh, copyright rules or something like that crazy to be able to play you some <laughs> never mind anyway so uh quite up to date now um probably one of my newest records over the last couple of years is elvis costello yep hey clock face <laughs> yeah, hey clock face there it is you know what it's called it's a double double album yep uh I haven't played it for a while, but, you know, every, every track's a standout, well-composed, brilliant writing, beautiful mu musicianship. Um, yeah, I think it's one of his, one of his uh, maybe top six albums out of his collection of about 30. Uh, there we are. Elvis Costello, and that's at number 16. So let's give you a, an inside look. Yep, and yep, all good. Elvis Costello, punching the clock. No, not punching the clock. What am I talking about? Hey, clock face. Okay, uh, boom, 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 boom. And we have, I think this is uh, the first or second release by Elton John. I can't remember. I think it's the first. I think it's the first. Um, Elton John, uh, no booklet, no information, not at all. Um, but that's how it started. Uh, but there you are, quite a line up there. And uh, Paul Buckmaster, who classical music, uh, Bernie Chaplin, the writer, Gus Dudgeon, I think he's the producer, Caleb Quayle, and Steve Brown, and Diana Lewis. And uh, yeah, I don't suppose a lot of people have really listened to this uh, album, but uh, got some brilliant songs on there. Your song, I mean. Leslie Duncan covered that. I Need to Turn To, Take Me To The Pilot, No Shoe Strings. First episode at Heinton, 60 Years On. Brilliant song, brilliant. Border Song, Greatest Discovery, The Cage, The King Must Die. Very dramatic, well-written Bernie Tuplin. Uh Again, not sure what year, but 60, 65, has it, I guess. So there it is. No frills, no book, no just plain one cover. <laughs> Elton John. Emerson, Lake and Palmer. I'll keep the sealed thing on there. That's good. Uh, just, yeah, again, simple design. Simple cover, uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer the first, The Barbarian, Take a Pebble, Knife Edge, uh, Three Fates, Tank and Lucky Man. Uh, Greg Lake, great singer, died recently, last year, I think. Um, yeah, amazing musicianship. Emerson, uh, Keith Emerson, brilliant. He died also. And Greg Lake died, so... 
left with Carl Palmer, who's still playing, just about. Uh, great release, and their best, the best album, I think. Easy, yeah. Okay, now this is an oldie, oldie, oldie classic. Classic. But I love the record. I love Manfred Mann at the beginning. Um, yeah, this is uh, also 60, 63 or something. I don't know, pre-1965, I'll say. <laughs> the first album, um, every track a winner. Beautiful ballads, bluesy. Uh, Paul Jones, brilliant, brilliant, unique heart play and a, a, a original unique voice you know uh he's still going strong and he still looks pretty good for his age you know mm, amazing and you got um uh, mike hug mike vickers and what's the other guy paul paul, paul mcginnis or something oh he's been in, he's been on thousands of records but yeah um and then man for man and, and uh, mike hug went to Chapter three and all sorts of uh, combinations, but yeah, it's a great, great. Um, uh, a great I won't name a selection, but that you know, they're all good tracks, every one of them. And uh, yeah, I've kept it and uh, not perfect condition, but um, but not bad for sixty years. I look after my record, you know. Okay, ah, now this is a classic band. These 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 guys were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Lindisfarne, Fog and the Tyne, yeah, and um, oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go, Fog and the Tyne. Should we have a look at the record? Mm. That's nice. Sleeve. I get a record in there. I don't think. Yep, just a, uh, and uh, used to advertise records. Don't get that nowadays, do you? Dave Crosby, Woodstock, Stephen Stills, the Hirsch, yes, album. Second album, Sunny and Sure, Stephen Stills. Hmm. Yeah, and his lyric sheet. And uh, nice cover, yeah. Linda's fan. Um, Alan Hull was a uh, lead singer, I think, if you can call him a lead singer. Uh, and uh, the, the really individual members were, were brilliant. Um, Meet Me on the Corner, All Right on the Night, Uncle Sam, Together Forever, January Song, City Song. Train in G major, don't know about Fog on the Tyne, which is a brilliant song. Um, yeah, Ray Jackson, Ray Laidlaw, Alan Hull, Rod Clements, a main few, and I think they're still going. Uh, some members, one or two, maybe even three, uh, still going strong. Man. Now the, the the best LP, I think I haven't got got it for some reason. Can't find it. Heart the village. Wait, but anyway, we'll choose this one, and um, it's a double called Original Masters double album. Good I I picked this up quite cheap actually. I think like. Ten fifteen dollars, which a bargain, a bargain, I'd say. And Maddie Pryor, of course, Bob Johnson, Peter Knight, violin, beautiful, and Tim Hart. Uh, yeah, brilliant album. All the hits on it. Um, uh, Thomas the Rhymer, Camoy Free France. The um, drink down the moon all around my head. Uh, yeah, a lot of good songs on there. Steel Ice Band number 21. Okay, Cosmic Wills, Donovan, 
there is. Oh, darn it. I think that's one of its one of its better release apart from a flower, a gift from a flower to a garden, I think it's called. Um, yeah, Cosmic Wheels. Cosmic Wheels. Uh, let's see what else is on here. Um, Cosmic Wheels. Uh, Wild Witch. Can't see about my glasses. The music. Something? I don't know. I should put my glasses on, shouldn't I? Have a reason? <laughs> Donovan. Cosmic Wells. Okay. Um, ooh, Discovery. I'll come back in a minute. We'll do another movie clip. Okay, see you in a minute. Welcome back to part two of my vinyl record collection. Top 25. Uh, okay, we're at number 23. And we have, get the glare and reflection up, Electric Light Orchestra Discovery. Uh, yep, yeah, I mean, Jeff Lynn is, is a genius. Uh, and uh, his songs are all good, musicianship. Um, yeah, his albums are all interesting, great. Uh, but I've selected this one, uh, one of many that are good, uh, Discovery. And um, I'm not going to even tell you what the tracks are. Um, blah, 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 blah. No, oh, okay. I can't see without my gla my reading glasses. So. But I'm sure you know this album quite well, Discovery. Electric Light Orchestra, Jeff Lynn. Um, okay. Egypt Station, Paul McCartney. Uh, not got the publicity it deserves. Um, a damn good record. Amazing, in fact. Uh, beautiful presentation. Oops, oops, oops. Yep, and uh, yeah, it's a double. It's a double, almost triple. What's in here? Let's have a look. Oh, a booklet. I don't think I've even looked at this. Wow. Didn't know that was in there. But anyway, look at that. And it's uh, all the lyrics. Uh, great songs, really great songs, fantastic. I had um, I had uh, on YouTube, oh, not YouTube, uh, iTunes, uh, and I played it over and over and over again. It was just superb. That's the record, like yeah, just the ordinary cover. But uh, yeah, brilliant album. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't uh, relate any songs at the moment here, but they're all good, I, I promise you. So give it a listen uh, over any Paul McCartney wings. This is the one. Not banned on the run, this one. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Um... Do, do Eric Clapton, my man, Eric Clapton. Now I've got about, oh, about 15, 20 albums of Eric Clapton. I think I've got them all on, mostly on vinyl or CD. Uh, this is not the first album. It's the second, I think, or the third. Uh, anniversary edition, newly remastered from original. So this is a remastered copy I've got here. Which, yeah, it's great, great songs. Cocaine, Wonderful Tonight, Lay Down Sally, uh, The Core, May You Never, Me you know, Frisco, Peaches and Diesel. Yeah, one of his better albums, I'd say. Masterpiece. Yep. And that's number, where are you at? Number 25? Okay. 
And finally, but not the last, because I've got mixed up. Uh, Jethro Tile Akron Lung to be next. But I'll have to show you that next time, but believe me, um, he'll be in my other collection. Anyway, final album is White Noise. I don't know if anyone of you guys have heard this, but it's amazing. It's uh, unusual, it's unique. Um, yeah, brilliant. Uh, Derbyshire, McDonald. Ah, I wonder if that's Ian McDonald. Not sure. Do, 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 do. Not sure, not sure, not sure. But anyway, um, you just got to hear it. It's it's quite unusual. Electronic, weird vocals. <laughs> uh, the visitation, very dark, uh, demonic, even. And then you've got the light, uh, love without sound. Mm, yeah, bit of funny stuff going on there. The game of loving. Uh, here comes the fleas. Uh, Firebird, your hidden dreams. And I think, yeah, I really w would like you guys to listen to this. If you've got iTunes, white noise, electric storm, white noise. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Fantastic man, and I've still got good condition. Um, yep, yep, on Island Records, too. Amazing. I'm not sure what year 1972, rough guess, rough idea. Uh, but yeah, that completes my top 25. Uh, thank you for listening, and hope you will follow me and like and subscribe. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my top 25 UK um, vinyl records. So it's bye from him and bye from me and see you next time.